And I'm here to assure you, you can have it all. You can have that life that you've always dreamed of having. And I think that it is crazy that I used to think that that was impossible. If you were to look at, at yourself, a leader when you started the business, sort of 1.0, how would you describe yourself now as a leader, sort of 3.0, 4.0 in the business? What's changed? My whole life has changed. First of all, I'm married, I have kids, I have a much more balanced life than I had in the early days of Rent the Runway. I still work with the same level of intensity, but I think that it, it's extremely important to have other things in your life that you are as obsessed with or more obsessed with than work. That gives everyone at the company permission to have it all in whatever way that makes sense for them. Another thing that's changed is surrounding yourself with incredible and experienced leaders and giving them constant permission to make you better. There's so much more confidence in sitting back and in you know, being humble and constantly adapting and constantly changing and not feeling like you have to show that you're smart. It's like, no, I wanna show that everyone else is smart. Were you someone that ever struggled with confidence? I'm not someone who struggled with confidence. I feel uncomfortable saying that I've always been a confident person as a woman because I think that there's so much conversation about women not being confident that it comes across as like almost bold to say that I've always been confident. There's so much conversation about insecurity with girls and girls not liking themselves and I feel sometimes like the focus on it makes the problem worse or creates the problem. I see full, you know, generations of women who work here, who work with confidence, who assert themselves, who have a diverse set of styles. There's no one way to be a woman at work. And I think that I'm very encouraged by women in their 20s, because I think that they're gonna pave an entirely new way for what it means to be a confident woman at work. When you look at sort of aspiring entrepreneurs, what are some of the, the things that you think are the biggest misperceptions that they should focus on or think about versus what you see as a defining thread around what it takes to build and scale a business? There's a myth that the earliest days are the hardest. That's not at all true. In the early days, if you used to go home at night, there was only a certain finite number of things you had to do during the day. As a company gets bigger, you have to balance knowing that there are 10,000 other things you could be doing, but you're not gonna do them just because you have to maintain sanity and balance in your life. And so, one piece of advice that I would give to entrepreneurs is you better really love the thing that you're working on. Don't just think that you can start something up because entrepreneurship sounds cool and you want to work for yourself and then four years later you're going to sell it for a billion dollars. Like That happens 0.0001% of the time. When something actually is successful, it's about a vocation. It's about do you want to do this thing for potentially the rest of your life. How have you gotten better at the roller coaster ride of entrepreneurship over time in a way that allows it to be a sustainable endeavor just given the demands that, that uh, a leader like you faces? The quality that I've had the most since I was a child is resilience. And it was because it was part of the culture of my family. So growing up, one of my younger siblings is autistic and that really framed my family life. And my family had, or my parents, had the point of view that this is who we are. And so acknowledging that as a young kid, even subconsciously, that my parents need help and myself and my other siblings have to be the one to kind of team together to provide that help, that I think provided the full foundation for entrepreneurship when I look back of like, we're gonna get through this, we're gonna be positive, whatever struggle that we have today, tomorrow is a new day. And I really give it to my parents for being 
the most resilient, positive people that I know, and I try to model that behavior every day.